Hello, good day viewers. Here is question number 12 of YEC 2024 Mathematics Examination, the theory questions. Question number 12A is on the cycle theorem and we are given a diagram right here. So in the diagram, the line PR is a tangent. Remember, a tangent touches the cycle at exactly one point, which is at Q. Um, the major of POQ, which is an angle, is 56 degrees. P O Q. We are talking about this angle. The line PO intersect another line SQ. So this line intersect this one at V. Right? Such that the major of angle SVP is 109. SVP. So this particular angle right here. So we are asked to calculate the major of angle TQP and uh, QTS. So let's start with this one before we come back to the B part, which is simplification. So TQP, let us locate it. TQP, we are talking about this angle. Let us call it X. Before we continue, let me remind you one theorem which stated that angle subtended to the center is twice the angle subtended to the circumference, if at all they are from the same code. So look at it here. We have a code here. TQ, it sustains an angle to the center. The same code sustains another one to the circumference. All right, which implies that this angle is half of this one, right? So let me write it here. Angle TSQ, which is the angle subtended to the circumference, is half, or let me say twice it equals the angle subtended to the center, which is TOQ. T O Q. All of these are angles, remember. So T S Q is equal to this divided by 2. But we have seen that this is 56, right? So this is 56 divided by 2. Therefore, T S Q must be equal to 28 degrees. So let me take it down. This is our solution. Remember, solution. To which question? Question 12a, Roman 1. Then, remember that from alternate segment theorem, it stated that the angle formed by the tangent and the code, which I have marked as x, is always equal to that interior angle subtended to the circumference from the same code. So this one right here, this particular angle must be equal to this one. So let me write it down here again. So angle TSQ is equal to angle TQP. TQP. You can even state the reason angles on alternate segment. But we have already seen that TSQ is equal to 28, which I have written here, right? TSQ is 28. So let me just copy this one down. So if these two angles are equal, it implies that what we are looking for, angle TQP must be equal to 28 degrees. And hence, we have answered the Roman number one. So now let us move on to Roman number two, where we ask to find the major of angle QTS. QTS, everything here. A combination of two angles, right? But let me start with this small angle right here. Um, remember that this is an isosceles triangle. And an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. Why do I say it is an isosceles triangle? Because... This is a radius and this is also a radius. So since the opposite sides are equal, this is an isosceles triangle. So to find this angle, let me call it OTQ. OTQ. We can subtract this angle from 180 and divide by 2. That is 180 degrees minus 56 degrees divided by 2. And 180 minus 56 will give us 124. If you divide it by 2, you are going to get 62 exactly. So this is 62 degrees. Let me copy this one as well. 
so we have obtained one of the angles which is this one this is 62 then we need to find this particular angle in order to combine the two but we have already seen that this is 28 degrees right this is 28 degrees so we need to find this particular angle how can we find it because this is a triangle the sum of the interior angles are 180 so to find that angle uh s t o you can subtract the rest of the angles from 180 180 minus 28 minus uh, 109 these are the interior angles if you subtract these two angles from 180 you're going to get 43 degrees so let me copy this one as well all right so what are we looking for we are looking for qts q t s q t s is a combination of these two angles which we have just of 10 right this one and this one that is this and this so this is equal to o t q plus s t o and this will be equal to 62 degrees plus 43 degrees and um, this is together equal to 105 degrees and we have successfully solved the second part now let us move on to the b part where we ask to simplify this meaning to write it in the simplest form so to simplify this we are going to factorize every single expression here let's start with this one to factorize it you're going to take the leading coefficient and multiply by the constant term that will be equal to negative 4. Then you think of two numbers, which when you multiply them together, you get negative 4. But the moment you add them together, you get the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 3. And the numbers are 1 and negative 4. Just multiply these two numbers together, you shall obtain this one. And the moment you add them together, you shall obtain this. So let's factorize the top. This is equal to n plus 1 divided by the leading coefficient which is 2 then multiplied by n minus 4 divided by the leading coefficient this is a shortcut to factorize a quadratic expression when the leading coefficient is not 1 so once you obtain the two factors you divide by the leading coefficient you do the same thing here you take the leading coefficient you multiply by the constant that will give us 2 times 1 equal to 2. You think of two numbers that you can multiply together to get 2. But when you add them together, you get 3. And the numbers are what? 1 and 2. Just multiply them together. You must get 2. And once you add them together, you get 3. So this is going to be n plus 1 divided by the leading coefficient. Multiply by n plus 2 divided by the leading coefficient. Then you multiply by the other expression. n squared minus 1 is the same thing as n squared minus 1 squared. Because 1 and 1 squared mean the same thing. So this is the difference of two squares, which can be factorized as n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1. Right? You divide by. 4 can be written as 2 squared. So the whole of the denominator here is n squared minus 2 squared, which is also the difference of 2 squared. This is n minus 2 and uh, n plus 2. Um, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So let me write it as n plus 1 over 2 multiplied by n minus 2 divided by n plus 1 over 2 multiplied by n plus 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1 divided by n minus 2 multiplied by n plus 2 so let's see if we have anything to cancel yeah we can see that this will take care of this this will take care of this and this will cancel this what do we have left we only have this divided by this so finally, we have our solution to be n minus 1 divided by n plus 2. As simple as that.
this is the simplified version of our expression thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos now let us move on to question number 13 which is the last one 